He's, he's a man of great energy, and he knows where he wants to take this program. So that's what he came in and showed us, told us, explained us, and he told us his story, he told us where he came from, he explained his credentials, and he definitely cleared up there. A guy that has played at the collegiate level, a guy that has played at the NBA level as a player, you're receptive to that because he's been in the shoes, he's, he's been at a place where maybe you aspire or dream of that. Exactly, you could say that he, he's he been everywhere I want to be and he's been everywhere I've been, so that, that appeals to us, it appeals to the players, and I think it definitely appeals to our recruits. Brett, a lot of times players, coaches come in, they have to recruit the players already on the roster. As a player here, what do you need to see out of him to make you think, okay, this was a good eye? I would say he just has to be himself. Obviously, we trust our, our leaders and build down on them and board of directors to bring in the right people for the program. So obviously, I just, as players, you just want him to be himself and just lead us in the best way he can. You said he told you his story. What, what most impressed you about his story and what stood out? I'll probably say the perseverance he showed. Um, his college career, he explained how he transferred multiple times and he had some, some struggles in that way, but at the same time, he still graduated and had a long, lucrative career that he did. So I'd say the perseverance that he showed. He mentioned being a passer as a player. It's about scoring, though. It? <laughs> no, actually, I actually appreciate that a lot because obviously that's that's the area that I need to work in. So to have a coach that you know, led the NCAA and assist, that's obviously a tremendous asset to have. What kind of an impact do you think that this fire could have on the Alabama fan base? Well, I, think, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be tremendous, obviously, because they're always great. It's like, you know, when you have change or, I would say, a person of this caliber coming in, obviously, that, that draws attention, as you can see by all the media people here, so I think they'll trickle down to the students. And, uh, <laughs> Certainly, it's tough when you guys lose a head coach. Uh, what was the impact of, of losing Coach Grant? How tough do you think it's going to be to get back to a comfort level you need to have? With I'll say, when I talk, when I talk with Coach, and I talk about myself and the team, we look at him as a father figure. Um, a lot of us students who came in as boys and Coach transformed us into men. We were, we were young and foolish, and we came in, and he made us more mature and wise. So, obviously. You know, for our players, it's a tough loss, but at the same time, we got to combine the fact that we're student athletes, and in the nature of the business, we still got to be loyal to our university and the culture that leading us in place. So, with that being Coach Avery Johnson right now, we'll do anything in our power and our abilities to, to follow his lead. How did he know Avery's name before he came here? How familiar with his career? Obviously, I know a lot about him. I've yeah. seen him on TV, seen him on ESPN. So it's, I would say, it's a, it's a tremendous honor. Of all the things he said to you guys, what excites you the most about him being the new leader? Wow, he said a lot of things. Um, I'll probably say the way he, the way he has a clear vision. I like how he explained the standard. And I'm all about that. So it'll be it'll be a great challenge for us as players to meet that standard and to work towards attaining that standard. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.